Hello, everybody, and welcome to another installment of Wet Shaving with Angelo. I am Angelo Amarico, and I'm here, and today's going to be a good day and a good shave. And I'd like to dedicate dedicate today's shave to a friend of mine in the Wet Shaving community, Douglas Smythe, founder of Phoenix Artists and Accoutrements, for today is his birthday. And as such, I'll be using some of his pro some of his company's products. I'll be using, for today's shave, the PAA... Atomic Rocket 26mm Synthetic Brush, as well as the Shave Soap Meta Nectar, which has a scent profile of Orange Blossom, Honey, Vanilla, Palmarosa, Gujim, Basalm, Patchouli, Bergamot, and Cedarwood, as well as the Matching Aftershave, Meta Nectar, this is the older version, Main Meta Nectar Actar. And razor of choice, which I did, I did a poll on what on the what, on the shave group on Facebook, vintage Gillette safety razor. Or, 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 let me phrase that: vintage Gillette safety razors. The Facebook group. I did a poll on which vintage Gillette razor I'll be using, and today I'm going to be using a 1920 old type Gillette with a Gillette with. A Gillette Silver Blue Blade. This should be very interesting to shave with a with a 99 year old razor. And this this razor I bought from Razor Emporium. And let me just show it off once more, because this is a rarity for this type of razor. Because most of the time when you buy these old type razors, there's cracks in the handle, but the handle has no cracks whatsoever. And it's all original materials. And and well, it was original razor that was replated. Re that was refurbished by Razor Emporium. So let's get the shaving now. I'm gonna wet the face and and soak my and rinse my brush and get get the cracking. Rinse up, rinse up the, soak up the brush. And as you can see, I'm wearing one of my Phoenix Arts and Coutremont's t-shirts. Now let's build ourselves a lather. Get the excess out first. Yeah, that's the stuff. That's the stuff. PAA soaps really are easy to lather, and there and there's excellences, in my opinion, top notch amongst the artisan soap makers out there. You really get bang for your buck with the soaps and aftershaves. You know the soaps they they got great, they work very well, easy to lather for anybody. And the aftershave, well, they call it an aftershave slash cologne. They literally for whenever I use a Phoenix Arsenal Coutremont. After shave cologne, it literally lasts me at the very least eighteen hours into the day, and sometimes I even smell it on me the next day when I wake up. That's how long these at the PA after shave last. And I've never had a problem with them, so that's always good. Oh, I love this scent. You really, you really get hit with the orange blossom and vanilla and the honey right away. Right off the bat. Okay, let's get this shaving now, everybody. Nice and easy. It's 
So how's this all? How's everyone's days going? Mine, mine's going pretty good. Just it's nice, even though it's raining outside today. It's actually rather warm for January, like in the fifties here in Philadelphia. In the forties or fifties for January here in Philadelphia, that's rather warm. This is, this is, Meta Nectar ha, is quite possibly one of, if not the top, let me phrase that. Meta Nectar by Phoenix Artists and Accoutrements, I would say is in my top three favorite fragrances and soaps from that company, PAA. And if I was asked it, and if someone was to ask me, what my other two top three, what the other two would be in the top three PA soups and aftershaves, I would say, in the to round it out, I would say, Ed Two, which is their take on original brute fragrance, as well as Auto Eleven Bang, which is their take on Alden's Brook. I like Alden, I like Alden Bang, Auto Eleven Bang, because it's got a nice tobacco flavor, which you you hear about tobacco flavor scents. But don't think of cigarettes. Think of the plant. The plant has a nice aroma to it. That's not, that's not like cigarettes. So those would be the three. I think this would possibly be my number one PAA soap and aftershave that I love the best. All right, that's pass number one. Time for pass number two. We let we rinse and we lather. Nice slickness to the soap. Really, this. This soap especially has a real nice slickness to it and, and plenty of cushion. And for those that don't know, slickness is the slick is residu is based to me at least a feel of like how slick it feels on your face. The cushion gives you something, gives a little protection from the blade and razor to on your face. Plenty of protection there with the cushion. And the slickness makes it easy to shave with. The razor doesn't gunk, never gunks up when we move the PA soups. And I've never had a problem with them really. Not most of the time. Most of the time, I've never had. Well, maybe once a bloom, I might have had one one off day with it. But it might have been mean lack of water or more too much water. I don't know, who knows? But otherwise, these are great soaps to invest in in aftershaves. Get, let's get that light off my eyeglasses. It can be a sign of a gun to shave when you wear eyeglasses, but it, that's just how it is sometimes. Time for a pass too with, with the old type.
great performance from a Razor that's 99 years old. And I bought it from Razor Emporium a while back. Not knowing what to expect. It was part of their khaki set where it came with this Razor uh, imitation khaki set that was like an imitation of the original replica set cases that came with the khaki sets they were given to soldiers during World War One, and a packet of blades. And Razor Emporium did mention in their website that don't be surprised when you bought the old type razors. This is before this is before they came out with their own take on the old type razor handles. Or their re replicas, I should say. They said, don't be surprised if the handle you get has a crack in it. And don't be worried, because it'll still work just fine. But I'm one of the lucky few, I guess, to have an original old type razor that has no cracks in the handle. So I'm thankful for that. And it's a really good razor. I can see why the soldiers in the U.S. These, I can see why the soldiers love this razor so much. It just really knocks down the whiskers to nothing. Nice and easy. Time for the final pass, the against the green pass. Dry my hands off so I'm not dropping anything. It's amazing how much lather the atomic rocket brush from PAA really whips up a lather. I mean, I've had I have quite a number of synthetic brushes, and I'm a synthetic loyalist these days. I, I started out and early on in my wet shaving life. I did use badger brushes, but I fell in love with the synthetics once I realized they were they were good, they were quality made brushes that were synthetic. That didn't shed like crazy. Because my first brush I ever had was a synthetic. It was from Marvie's at Side Beauty Supply Store. And that one fell apart within days. Well, it may not fall apart, but it was losing hairs like crazy. And I thought that was... And it was, a, it was like a cheapo $5 brush or something like that. But it got me started. And it wasn't until I explored other brands of synthetics... That I realized the potential they had. This is really a nice. This is, and I would say the Atomic Rocket is my go to brush when I want a really great lather. I would say, I dare say it was the best $13 I spent on a brush ever.
Time for the against the green pass. That's how we get that baby butt smooth shape. I just want to ask Douglas Smith, how's your birthday going so far, buddy? Let us know. And uh, and I hope you have a happy birthday and a, and a most enjoyable time today. You des you really deserve it, Douglas. You stay groovy, my friend, as you say. What's the, so everybody, what's the weather like in where you live? As I said earlier, today was going to be a rainy day here in Philadelphia, but it's going to be nice and mild, like 40s, late, late upper 40s and lower to mid 50s. So even though it's raining, I may try to get out today and enjoy it the best I can. I'm not going to let any rain stop me. Nicely done. About two or three little spots I need to touch up with this stick pencil. But other than that, not a bad shave. Very comfortable. Let's stop. Let's stop. A, let's, let's stop the bleeding with the stick pencil. Like I said in my last video, if you want bang for your buck for a stiptic pencil, the best place to find them is at Walmart, where you can get a jumbo one ounce size of stick for a dollar twenty six or a dollar twenty eight before taxes. Normally, the jumbo size sticks go for like four or five dollars, and you go to your local drugstore. Prices may vary, but that's just how it is where I go, where I look at. Another. Place you may look at is Dollar Tree. Once in Blue Moon, they have, they have their brand of jumbo styptic pencils, and I, and those go for just a dollar a piece. So that's good to know. Let me just rinse off the face, dry it off, and put the aftershave on. Soap off. Now 
Now it's time for the fun part, the aftershave. And I'm using the same aftershave that I did in the soup. PAA's made of nectar. Yeah, get a nice, get a little bit there. A splash on the fun. Ooh, nice burn, nice burn. Nice scent too. And like I said, Phoenix Arts and Accoutrement scents last all day for me. Like, I, I put it on at 4, 4.30 in the morning, and it lasts literally the next day. Well, that's it for now today, everybody. Good day, good shave, good shave, good day, everyone. Have a good day, and, and, enjoy, your, and enjoy the rest of this day. Take care. And Douglas Smythe, happy birthday once again.